Good afternoon, guys. It's uh, Friday. I think it's December 2nd. Nope, 3rd. All right, I figured I'd show you guys the bait. This was a uh, roadkill deer that I put uh, in here, uh, what, two days ago. She's getting uh, chewed on. Bunch of deer hides that I got. Um, stuff like that. Not much really here for meat. I might throw some stuff out here. So, yeah, lots of tracks. I don't know where they're coming in. I didn't really see much for uh, tracks. I mean, there were some, but nothing like uh, there is right here. Maybe they're just converging all in one spot. Hey, we got a dog down here. Nice. Just set this snare here. Uh, last time I was out here, I think this guy might have some main issues. I don't know what that is. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Sickly looking sucker. That thing ain't worth a dime. Um, I don't think he's much good for anything. Yeah, he's got shoulder mites. Oh, that sucks. All right. I guess better to get him now than when he's inf infected a couple others, so giddy up. All right, guys, so I thought I'd show you this kayak better. He looks fine up here. Not too bad. You look down here in the belly and it's just nasty and he stinks. Man, does he stink. It's a surefire way of knowing that uh, he's got mange or getting it. So, like I said down there, there's no point in me skinning this guy because there's nobody buying it. So, it is what it is. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet with my furs this uh, winter. If I'm going to sell them to just the local buyer. Or send them to the auction for July. I know it's a long ways away and it's kind of uh, a crappy situation but it is what it is. It's been uh, not the first time it's happened so I just have to make the best of it and uh, it might shorten some guys seasons as well as mine just because of uh, Gas prices are stupid high, so it's going to cost us a lot of money to come check our, our uh, sets. But that's fine if we have to shut down a little earlier, whatever is what it is. Um, yeah. Who knows? We'll see what happens, guys. I'll keep you updated on that situation. Good morning. We're back at the Hidden House Bait. It's a crisp Sunday morning. It's minus 31 real feel. That's Celsius, and uh, I don't know what that would be, Fahrenheit, like 20-ish. So, he's a chilly one today. It's nice, I don't mind it one bit. You see, come up to my first snare. He's still alive. He must have just got caught. Yep, let's go check the other guys. The snare was just right there. Sorry, right there. So he must just like got caught. I didn't. Um, yeah. Let's go check down in here in the back. No sense closing a hole in him if he's gonna do his own thing and pass out or whatever. The birds that flew off when I showed up was like warm of them, almost like a cloud. I'll just take you guys along to do the check, I think. Just take my gloves off if I shut the camera off. Oh, come on. Why 
are you doing this to me? Close the turn loop again. I think that's the third time this happened. Probably birds. Usually I'd change that snare out, but it's getting to be expensive to uh, buy these replacement snares. They used to be 55 cents a piece. I think they're up to like two, two something now. And I uh, feel like I'm going to try to make some uh, adjustments where I don't have to spend a whole bunch of money trying to catch coyotes. Like I said the other day with fuel, I don't know if I mentioned that. Fuel prices up here are stupidly high. I mean, it's costing me... Right now it's costing me 140, I filled up yesterday, 149 dollars and 30 some cents to put uh, 92 liters of gas in my truck. That's gonna last me a week, maybe. So, you know, it's pretty darn expensive to be honest. Here, if you catch a few coyotes, then it's fine. And it pays for itself, but if you don't, then you're shit out of luck. All right, guys, here you go. Here's that coyote. I don't know why, uh, yeah, like he was just caught. Nice neck shot. Um, he was just caught when I when I showed up. Beautiful dog, man, alive. He's so white on the belly and got a, like a silvery tinge to him, almost. A little bit woolly, but that's fine. Show you the remake. Um, stuff like this entranceways. I usually have my. Uh, I usually make my snares a little bit bigger, my loop, just cause it seems like uh, stuff like this, they, uh, yeah, I usually have them a little bit bigger. And you see, I have my snare on the opposite side cause I think the kite's gonna come from the field edge into the bait. I have my snare on the other side of the tree in case he was to see it or whatever. And yeah, it's hidden a little better. I got a chin stick got a another tree like you see on the other side of the snare to kind of break up the outline and i have the loop a little higher than normal too just something i do on sets like this um but yeah that's about it i'll go check another bait guys okay well we're at the other bait um see we finally caught this coyote he's been playing on my loop for the last two checks and uh i think it was right there and he kept going under the loop so yeah he uh <laughs> finally got the uh, caught doesn't uh, appear to be a very big coyote at all seems to be another sickly looking sucker oh this is huh in the belly again. Man alive. A lot of sick ones this year. Okay. I'll go down in here and shut the camera off because my hand's freezing from holding it. Whoosh, it's a beautiful evening. Or afternoon. Late afternoon. Just at the Fisher bait, I guess. Checking snares. Been really slow. Oh. Um, yeah, it's been slow and cold. Haven't uh, caught much lately. 
I see we finally connected on this guy. There's a great trail coming in and he kept bumping the snare going under it. But we finally got him. Nothing wrong with that guy. Doesn't have any mange back here. It doesn't appear so. Um, just an average looking coyote. Anyways, guys, I got another snare across the draw to check. Then we're done. So, hopefully, we catch another one.